Welcome to Cooking with Munchies. So today we're going to do a very easy beginner recipe with pork. And you can modify this recipe as much as you want. Let's go ahead and get straight into these ingredients. First, you'll need one to two tablespoons of smoked paprika, two tablespoons of Creole seasoning. And if you're not keeping up, don't worry about it. I will leave the ingredients in the description box below. So don't even stress it. So I'm going to show you how much I'm using, and that is one tablespoon of each seasoning. I did add some more paprika later on. You don't want to use too much black pepper because it's going to be very, very spicy. So we're only going to use one teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to overdo it with my garlic powder and my onion powder. So I am using two tablespoons of both. And this is where I'm adding the extra tablespoon of smoked paprika. Smoked paprika is a great, great combination of spices and heat. So that's why I add this. I absolutely love smoked paprika over paprika. It just, it does something to my meat, my vegetables. I just love it. So go ahead and try that out. Walmart has it for $1.50. Now I'm going to be adding two to three tablespoons of flour. You can use coconut flour, white flour, wheat flour, whatever you like. You add it in there. And now if you feel like you want to add some different seasoning, let me know in the comment section below what kind of seasoning you think should go inside this meat. One thing that I did forget to add was my brown sugar because i do want to add sweetness to it as well with the heat sweet and heat goes well together so i will be adding that and i will add two to three tablespoons if you like it kind of sweet go ahead and add three tablespoons if you want it in the middle of heat and sweet add two tablespoons kid you not it's bomb it's gonna be bomb so I'm just sprinkling the seasoning on top of the meat. And here I go adding the brown sugar. You can add brown, light or dark brown sugar. I personally love the dark brown sugar, but every time I go to the store, I literally cannot find brown, dark brown sugar. It's like people are just buying up the dark brown sugar. I don't know what it is, but I can't find dark brown sugar. So now I'm going to cover the meat in seasoning. I mean, I'm going to drench it. I'm going to drench it so deep that my ancestors are going to start clapping their hands like, yeah, you did it. <laughs> then we're going to flip it on the other side and drench it again because there's not a lot of salt in our seasoning to where it'll be salty. You don't have to worry about that because we didn't add a lot of salt to it. Once you're done adding your seasoning, you want to pat your seasoning on top of the meat. So just go ahead and smack that meat up. And these gloves, I got them from Amazon. If I knew that they were going to be like this and they didn't have um, any kind of latex in it, I would never have gotten these. They literally are slipping off of my hands. <laughs> so, and these are extra large if I'm not mistaken. And I will leave the link in the description box below so you do know not to get these gloves. I should have read it though. I should have read the description and stuff, but it was cheap. So I bought two of them. <laughs> so you guys are going to be literally seeing me wear these awful gloves for probably until they're all gone. Now I'm going to add some peanut oil in it. And peanut oil is so awesome that... It will literally cook your food so great and, and it will brown your food. Vegetable oil does not do that. Vegetable oil, it to me, vegetable oil is just so heavy. So I'm adding four tablespoons of peanut oil. And I have my pan on medium. 
Let the oil get heated for about three minutes and then add your steaks. You wanna let your steaks cook for five minutes before flipping them. They don't have to be cooked all the way because they're gonna cook more inside of the gravy. So cook them for five minutes. Make sure that oil is underneath. So sometimes you might need to like lift your steaks up and move your pan around so some of the oil can get underneath your steak. Five minutes has passed and now it's time to flip over our steak and let them cook another additional five minutes. Part two, let's go ahead and cut our fresh parsley up. If you do not have fresh parsley, do not worry about it, do not stress it. We're trying to make this easy as possible. So go ahead and get your dry parsley out of your cabinets and we're gonna season that. No, oh, the country almost came out of me. Gosh, we're gonna go ahead and season that with some parsley. And if you don't got parsley, go ahead and get some Italian seasoning, guys. <laughs> and if you're going to use the dry one, all you need is three tablespoons of your dry parsley or dry Italian. Either way, it still has the parsley inside of it. So, And if you have fresh parsley, all you need is a couple of leaves, maybe about four or five of them. And just dice it up really, really, really good. Because you want them really fresh. and um, Not fresh, but really finely. Now here comes the mushrooms. If you do not like mushrooms, you can skip this step. You can add another vegetable to it. I feel like maybe some onions will probably be a good idea to replace the mushrooms or celery or even a green bell pepper. So if you don't like mushrooms, that is okay. It's not gonna ruin the dish, okay? But I love mushrooms, guys. I love it, but please be sure to rinse off your mushrooms. And I got a little help in the kitchen from my little ones and they wanted to help with their oversized gloves as well. So we're gonna set this to the side and then we're gonna dice up some more veggies because hey, what can go wrong with veggies? So I have this red bell pepper. We're gonna slice this bad baby in half and dice it. Pull out that middle piece because you really don't need it unless you're trying to grow another bell pepper inside your stomach. We're going to throw that away. And then we're going to dice it really small. First, you're going to dice it like a fajita. And then you're going to dice it really small in small little chunks. It's 
really, really easy. And if you do have the vegetable cutter that you can get off of Amazon, I'll leave that link down in the description box below. If you have the vegetable cutter, that's even better. It's easier. You don't even have to work that hard to get your veggie, veggies cut. So I'm going to leave that down in the description box. Those of you who hate cutting things out. And it's supposed to look like this. Got it? All right. Now we're going to dice our steak up. Like I said before, your steak does not have to be done. But as soon as you pull it out of the stove, off the stove, and it starts resting, the meat is going to automatically still cook. So I kind of felt like I overcooked mine's. Maybe one or two of them, but not too much. It was still juicy. So if you want to minimize the cook time, try to do three minutes instead of five minutes on each side. But one or two of them wasn't done all the way, which is perfect because it's still going to cook inside of our gravy. Now we're going to add chicken broth. You want to add the whole can of chicken broth. Then add four tablespoons of brown sugar. You also may add three, but I, I, trust me, believe me, believe me, I added four. Then I'm going to add four to five tablespoons of flour. I had to make sure I wasn't adding um, cornstarch, but it's flour, guys. For you, so you want to add four to five tablespoons of flour and two tablespoons of vinegar. You can use apple cider vinegar or regular vinegar. Mix that in. And you want to try to get most of those clumps out of there because if not, when it gets on the stove, you're going to have clumps inside of your gravy. So try to just remove as much as you can. If you can't remove all of them, that's okay. Um, we can remove them inside of the skillet once we add it inside of the heat. Then I will add two tablespoons of oil just to add some fattening to that gravy. And I have it on medium high and I will immediately add that water, that mixture to it. You want to stir it in really, really good. And you'll notice that your gravy is going to start becoming really thick. Once it starts becoming quick, thick, <laughs> once it starts becoming thick, you're going to add some water to it. I had a 16 by 9 ounce of water, just a water bottle, and I used the entire, the entire bottle. But I slowly, gradually added it to it. So once I noticed that the gravy was getting thicker, I would gradually add more water to it to loosen it up because I don't want it too thick. I needed to add my meat and my veggies to it. So you don't want it thick, too thick, because once you add your gravy and stuff, I mean, your mixture in it, it's going to get so thick that it's not going to absorb the meat as much as, and it's not going to become gravy. It's just going to be some thick slop. So now I'm adding my veg veggies and I'm just going to cook it. Like I said, if it starts to get too thick, Go ahead and gradually add your water to it. I did add some seasoning to it that I did not show on camera. I'm adding two and a half tablespoons of Creole seasoning. I also added one teaspoon of turmeric. I added a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Two tablespoons of garlic powder two tablespoons of onion powder, <laughs> two tablespoons of onion powder. And I also added one teaspoon of smoked paprika. So basically I was adding the same seasoning that I put on top of my meat. So if you have any other seasoning inside of your bowl that you didn't put on your meat, you can just basically use that seasoning inside of your gravy. That's all you have to do. Just add your turmeric. And you're all good to go. Now taste as you're cooking to make sure that it is how you like it. And if not, just gradually add a little bit more seasoning to it. I sprinkled a little bit of parsley on top to give it some more color. 
and flavor and pop. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. And I promise it won't be another month or two from now. Thanks for watching.